hey guys welcome back to my channel this is mama double n in the kitchen so today guys i'm going to show you how i prepare my okra soup as you all know okra soup is a well-known food for african people we africans know what okra soup is some people say okra but in nigeria we call it okra yes guys that's what i'm going to show you today i'm going to show you how i prepared it so guys before i forget if you haven't also subscribed to my channel please don't forget to do so subscribe so you get a notification anytime i post a new video also click on the bell icon to get notified anytime i post a video guys thank you for always watching my videos thank you for subscribing to my channel i really appreciate you all <laughs> guys let's get started first of all i will introduce you to my ingredients that i have here i have my okra here my beef my um cow meat my fish dried fish fresh fish i have my fresh pepper my onions and tomatoes my crayfish my maggie cubes I have my chicken seasoning, my red oil, palm oil, my thyme and salt. As you can see my fire is on, I just put my pan, my saucepan on it and put the meat in the pots so i've just put my thyme and my swords and other stuff i put my um my meat seasoning my maggi cube and yes guys just watch how i am going to do it and after putting all of that of course i'll just turn it together and cover the pots of course i'll add my onions to it for the meat to boil together with it and after that, I'll just cover the pots and let it cook. So while my meat is cooking, I'll just um, prepare the fish, I'll just cut the fish that i smoked in the oven so guys if you want to know or see how i smoke my fish i will drop the video the short video on my youtube channel you can check it out later yes i'll just um make the fish i'll just prepare the fish you know like remove the the bad parts and prepare it Yeah, so I'll just add my fresh fish to it that I'll add to the pot later and of course I'll cover it and put it outside as you can see my meat is cooking I'll just turn it together again and continue yeah Yes, 
guys this is the okra that i'll be using so i'll just slice it while the meat is cooking As you can see I sliced the okra not so tiny I slice it a little bit bigger because I will be blending it and I will also be um, um, like parboiling it on the fire like extra so I'm going to try two method actually and um, I'm just going to show you how I did it all just keep watching Yes, as you can see, my okra is very many. I'm still slicing, but I won't be using all of it because it is too many. I'll just um, slice the ones that I need and keep the rest for another day. Yes, so the next thing I'll do now is um, blend my fresh pepper, my crayfish, my onions and the tomatoes yeah Yes, yeah, so guys, I finished blending the pepper and all, so I just turn it in the pot and turn it together. And after that, I'll just cover it again and let it continue cooking. Yes, like I said before, I told you I'll be using two methods. The first method is um, I'll use the blender to like um chop the uh, okra you know i don't want it to be too smooth you know so and um, the second method is um parboiling the okra in another pot you know i'll just let it heat a little bit yes so as you can see i've done the two process i'll just put my fish in the pot and let it um cook also a little bit with the pepper and all other ingredients in the pots yes yeah, so after cooking for some minutes i'll remove the fish again because i don't want it to scatter inside so i'll just remove the fish now because it's already in the soup you know so i'll just bring it out and i'll add it later to the soup after putting the okra yeah yeah guys like i told you this is the second method of the okra i'll just use my cup to like heat the okra a bit you know and then i'll just um turn it together afterwards yeah so the next thing i'll do now is add my palm oil to the pot after adding it i'll just cover it and let it cook for some minutes as well guys the soup is almost getting ready yes So as you can see it has cooked for some minutes now the next thing i'll do is add my onions and 
and after that i'll just cover the pot again guys the soup is almost getting ready <laughs> So the next thing I'll do now is add my mixed okra in the pot. As you can see guys, the okra is in the pot. So I'll just add my Maggi cube to it again and um, add a little bit of water as well. So I'll just continue turning the okra, you know, I'll just turn it together till it doesn't have this um too much straw. So the next thing I'll so do now is, is, my is add my uh, fish to eat, my smoked and, and turn fresh it fish to eat, you know, so i just turn it together again. Yes, this time it's important to just um, keep turning it and don't let your heat to be too high, you know, so that your soup will not burn. Yes, so guys, I tasted it and there was not enough salt, so I just added a little bit of salt to it for taste. And of course, turn it together. So guys, can you see this? Do you like this okra? Do you like what you are seeing? Well, I like it, guys. I love it. Okay, so it's time to taste the food. Let's see. Mmm, yummy, guys. This is so delicious. Ta -da. So take a look at this. Look at this, guys. This okra soup is everything. It looks so good. Yeah, guys. So that's how I prepare my okra soup. So I'll just dish the soup out, dish the food for us to eat. Mmm, yummy guys. Yes, I hope you enjoyed watching. That's how I prepared my okra soup. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Till I see you again. Have a nice day. Bye.